Okay guys, so before we get started, this is the first time that we're sharing whatever it is that we do, where we share our actual work on the channel. Um, if you'd like to see more of this, please like, subscribe, comment, do what you have to do on YouTube to let us know that you like this content so that we can add more of it if you like it. Um, I'd love to get your feedback on this as well. So now, before we get started on this, this is one of our design projects that we've been doing in the past, let's say, 10 days, okay? So this is a client that's got a very, very small hair salon based in the Free State here in South Africa. And they wanted us to build a, a small salon that, that didn't take up too much space to give it a sort of sense of being more spacious. And this is the design we came up with. This design is also available on the Stockford site. Now you'll notice that there's some steel work in this specific project. We will be adding those designs onto the, onto the website, but the steelwork side of it, you'll have to take those drawings and work separately, and obviously it's not CNC'd. The rest of it, all the wooden sections are all CNC files, and they are on the site, and they're pretty much ready to go as we speak. So, just to run you by this, basically this counter is a combination counter of a little bit of steel and MDF. We use 16 mil MDF all the way around, and um, we painted it with a, with a duco, uh, a gloss um, black. And then this is a metallic gold paint, which is an automotive paint. It's got a slight, a slight bit of a sparkle in it. I don't know if that'll be visible on camera, but it does have a bit of a metallicness to it. It is a nice gold in any way. And then basically what we've done is the logo is made out of six millimeter MDF. So it's all the same material. But obviously what we've done is we've color coded the certain sections and we've built up this, this sort of a 3D puzzle kind of look to give you the, the client's logo on the counter so that it's sort of a branded experience. Now, during the Stockford course, you will learn everything there is to learn about making signs and things that um, on the Stockford Academy, that lesson will be available soon. So basically, this counter is a 1.1 meter high counter. I don't know what it is in inches. And um, the inside of it is basically a standard kitchen counter height, okay? So it's not a desk height where you'll be sitting on a low chair. You'll need a bar stool or something if you wanted to sit here. When I did this design, because it's a small shop, I figured that there won't be too many people sitting around and waiting for things to happen. So this is a sort of a quick access type of thing. Client on this side, um, stylist on this side, take the money, take the payments, whatever, make the next booking and off you go. Um, you'll notice on the table here, we, we did a 64 millimeter um, hold. This is for your cable management and for you to be able to actually plug in a computer or a point of sale or a card machine or whatever and have your cables, network cables and whatever you need to go through there without having to cut up the table itself. So this will get a nice little plastic cover and you'd hardly see it by the time it's done. Now on the inside of this cupboard, we could put, um, we could put doors. I decided to leave it open to give you quick access to whatever it is that you need here because in the shop space itself there isn't a lot of space behind this counter available for doors to open and close and that sort of thing. But in your case, if you, if you take this design, you could simply actually just design a flat panel door or do a nice machine face door and then put it on here. Now, this is the basic design of this counter. If you chose to flip uh, this, table, uh, this counter over in a mirrored version of itself, then you could basically just take the software, take this entire design, mirror the entire design, then flat pack it and build a mirrored version of this, if that's what you need for your specific space. Um, you could also extend it this way if you like, or extend it that way if you like. Um, it's all open and you can, you can do what you need on the design. That covers the counter for this client. Now over here, we've got some retail displays made out of square tubing. But obviously we wanted to do something a little bit more interesting. So we did these little round front faces on the, on the shelving. It's a very simple shelf system. It's MDF shelving. Um, but because the shop has got some square and some round elements, we decided to do a little bit of a combination on this just to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, I mean, a standard square shelf would have been boring. So, we tweaked this a little bit. It's a very simple thing. The doors are still in the spray booth for the bottom storage units. So, once we get the, the, the doors on here, this, I think these units are going to look amazing. And um, I hope the client actually loves them. We'll see what it looks like with a bunch of products on it. That could be quite interesting. Okay, and then the last thing, it was a small job. So the last thing we've got over here is our hair station mirrors. Now this is where the stylists will be working and doing hair for the client, okay? So what we did is we, we, 
went with a minimal approach, as I mentioned earlier, because it is a small shop and there isn't that much space available. So what we've done is we've done this minimalistic sort of Art Deco style clean frame with this floating mirror that mounts in the center of this column, it, it mounts. Now, all the wooden sections are available on stock fit for CNC machining. And the drawings are on there, but you'll have to, as I mentioned earlier, you'll have to manually cut and weld to size. So if you're familiar with, with the welding process, or if you know a welder, they can quickly put these frames together and off you go. Now you'll notice that we've got built-in plugs on these units, okay? So basically what we've done is, we've built a little bit of an electrical outlet in here, which basically plugs into your standard three-point plug, which is our standard plug here in South Africa. Your plugs might be different, but basically all it is, is giving electricity to these points so that when your stylist is actually working with a, with a customer, they can simply plug in a hair dryer or whatever it is that they need to plug in here, they can plug it in and they can get going with it. So that you don't have all these messy wires and things hanging all over the show. Now, I'm not sure if we're gonna be adding more storage units to this. There might be more storage units um, added, but for the moment, this is the unit that, that we've got. It's on wheels, and as you can see, it is double-sided. So basically, this unit will be standing in the middle of the room like this. Stylus chair this side, chair this side, and the entire unit's on wheels with some locks on it as well, so that you can actually just move them where you need and um, clean them, you know, clean the floors and then move them back and do whatever it is that you need to do. So that basically covers this little salon that we did the idea and the reason why i wanted to show you guys this is simply because i want you to to realize that stock fit has got real world application whatever we use and whatever we design you'd be able to replicate that build it and sell it off you can do this ex exactly what we did here you can change the colors you don't have to go with a black and gold combo you can go with any color of your choice and at the end of the day you can make money by doing what we do. This is one good example. If you do like the video, again, please hit the subscribe button, join us, tell us, give us some feedback, tell us of things that you would like to find out. If there's anything in the workshop that, that interests you, any processes that you would like to find out about, please feel free to contact us at any time. Send us a mail, drop a comment, do what you have to do. Um, we're always trying to follow up and be on top of things. So if there's anything that you wanna see, let us know. See you in the next episode.